Thanks for taking part in the How Smart in Nest study. This video tutorial focuses specifically on the mapping functionality within the online data entry system. If you want any guidance on general data entry, please view the associated video tutorial which is entitled Getting Started. There's two different screens that you'll need to use if you're mapping your site and the nests. First is for the study site and second is when you input the details about the locations of individual nests. We'll look at each of these in turn beginning with mapping your site. When you first log in you'll see this page, the data home page, um, and in order to input your site you need to click on the add another site button. First of all, before mapping your site, you'll need to few, fill in a few details about the site. Once you've done that, just click on the Continue button to see the map screen. The first stage before you map your site is to find the site in the map. And to do this you can use the, the zoom buttons, the plus or minus buttons to zoom in or out. The map will usually be focused on your um, postcode, the postcode you used when you registered for a BTO surveys. Um, so you may need to move if you're move the map slightly if you're not looking at your own home. To do this, use your left mouse button, click on the left mouse button and hold the button down whilst dragging the map. It's important to hold the button down, otherwise the system will think you're starting to input your site. You can then zoom in closer, move the map again, once you're in close to your site you can start mapping it. So in order to do this, click once on the left mouse button on the screen in, in one of the corners of the site where you, use, where you wish to put the shape to mark the area. Then move the mouse button and click again a second time and you'll see the shape starting to form. So click again. And when you've f uh, um, finished the shape, click twice in the final corner and it will fill in the whole shape. If you realise you haven't quite mapped the site correctly, you can click and move the shape to change the site. And once you're happy with it, um, that it surrounds your building, the building you're surveying completely, Click on Submit. It will save and it will be listed on your data home page. If you'd like to edit your site, you can do this at any time provided you haven't input any nests yet for the site. There are two ways to do this. First of all, you can just delete the site and then re-enter it using the Add Another Site button. Alternatively, you can just click on the Edit Site button. You then need to click on Edit Site again. You can edit any of the details if you'd like to do so. And just carry on in exactly the same way as if you had been creating a new site. So continue, um, although your site will be shown. And you can then Click on the edge of the site and hold the mouse button down while you move the site to a new location. Uh, 
And once you're happy with the edit, again click on Submit to save the change. Once you're happy that you've mapped the site accurately, you can move on to entering the nest details. Um, in order to do this, um, first click on the View Enter Nests button. You'll be taken to the About the Nests screen and just click on Add another nest. And the functionality is similar to how you input the site details. Before mapping where the nest is, you need to provide a few details about the nest. Once you've provided these, click on Continue and you'll see um, the map showing the location of your site. And in order to map the nest, all you need to do is simply click to show where the nest is. Um, it will add a dot to the screen and you can click on Submit to save the nest details um, and it will be listed. And again you can just repeat those steps to add extra nests. If um, you find when you've been entering nests that the uh, site location doesn't quite cover your whole building, um, you won't be able to input a nest if it's outside the boundary. Um, if um, it's very, very close to the boundary, the best way to deal with this is to just put it as close as you can to the proper location, but just within the boundary. It won't matter too much to us if it's if it's just slightly away from the real location. Um, so just repeat those steps until you've input and mapped all of your nests. And then once you've done that, you can carry on and, and input your data. And further details about inputting data uh, can be found on the other video about data entry called Getting Started. If you do have any problems um, at any time with the mapping, please do contact the National Organiser to give us more details. Um, if you're struggling to get the mapping done, we'd, we'd much rather you contact us as we can help you out um, if necessary. And if you are having uh, real problems, we may even be able to set up the site for you, um, which will then enable you to carry on and input your visit data. Um, once the mapping's done, it doesn't need to be revisited. So please do contact the National Organiser um, if um, you have any problems. Thanks for taking part in the, the survey. I hope that you enjoy it. End.